you guys call it mainstream media we call it manu stream media because 90% of the people are from particular communities only That's what i yeah. passed away also so that whatever happening around us the bad time or the hindu muslim binary and the wrong things happening around us just because of media i am proud that my people are not responsible for it because my people are not there in the media to antar aap dekh sakte main apne yahan mitra se keh raha tha कि जो चौहान बोल रहे हैं और जो दूसरी तरफ से जो आवाज आ रही है उसमें बहुत अंतर है सो हाउ द कबीर वॉज वर्किंग हाउ द रविदास वॉज वर्किंग हाउ द बुद्ध वॉज वर्किंग सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द लेगेसी फॉर मी दिस इज द मीडिया लेगेसी फॉर मी लाइक कबीर सेड जो तू बामन बामनी जाया आन काट बाहेना काहे ना आया Uh, तुम कैसे बामन हम कैसे सूद हमरा कैसे लहू तुमरा कैसे दूध तो हाउ द कबीर वॉज चैलेंजिंग दी दिस स्टेटस को ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी हाउ द डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वॉज बींग डन टू पीपल ही वॉज क्वेश्चनिंग इट एंड हाउ द रविदास वॉज डूइंग ऐसा चाहूँ राज में जहाँ मिले सबन को अन छोट बसे सब संग बसे रेदास रह जो सीखने की बात है तो जो चौहान अभी कह रहे थे कि जो टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स है उसकी उसके जो इस पेशे में रहने की जो ज़रूरतें हैं उसके अलावा आप उस आइडियोलॉजिकल पैराडाइम को भी आप कंटेस्ट करते हैं या उसके प्रेशर को फील करते हैं सो इफ यू आस्क मी दैट व्हाट शुड आई लर्न फ्रॉम दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई वुड से आई शुड लर्न फ्रॉम देम नॉट टू शाउट आई शुड लर्न फ्रॉम नॉट टू हाइड फैक्ट्स आई शुड लर्न फ्रॉम दैट यू नो नॉट टू मेक फूल ऑफ द इंडियन ऑडियंस so then they only cover us when somebody beat us somebody rape us somebody murder us we are going to be discussing digital versus legacy we're going to fight no we won't <laughs> go ahead sumit uh, what do you want abp news and z your former organization <laughs> to learn from the shudra yeah uh, jai bhim to everybody uh, and this is like a great uh, time for me to be with uh, the media rumble things and great amazing gathering Uh, if you ask me uh, like what should i learn from my uh, former organizations and the uh, mainstream media i started my career with abp news in way back to 2014 when the great leader was emerging in india uh, mr narendra modi and you know how the indian media is working after the 2014 so when i entered abp news it every it was the election time i joined in to, uh, february 2014 so everybody was shouting modi modi and the election campaign was at its peak and later on when the government was formed everybody is uh, how media is working everybody is aware about what is happening around so uh, if you ask me that what should i learn from the organizations i would say i should learn from them not to shout i should learn from not to hide facts i should learn from that you know uh, uh, not to uh, make fool of the indian audience i should learn from them not to you know weaken the uh, democracy of india and uh, not to serve the masters in a way that you 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 know uh, start working anti uh, people anti you know uh, indian sexually uh, what indian media is doing i call it anti uh, uh, national media. Uh, yeah this is what happening around mm. so uh, as far as the media legacy is concerned for me i would say that what i learned from indian institute of mass communication when i where i you know was studying this journalism they taught us that you should you know uh, uh, just just investigate what is happening around and you should say this is right this is wrong and you should also talk about the people those who are being marginalized and deprived of their basic rights this is what the journalism is galat ko galat bolo sahi ko sahi bolo this is what you need to do this was taught to us so uh, within this uh, definition when i look at the media experience of my being with different channels i said okay these media channels are not working accordingly with the definitions and i found the roots of my journalism to my ancestors like uh, the definition what i i just just mentioned in the uh, talk i i, I related to kabir because kabir was also telling what is happening around and he was you know raising questions for the marginalized, marginalized sections and he was trying to uh, making the society better which indian media is not doing so how the kabir was working how the ravidas was working how the buddha was working so this is called the legacy for me this is the That's media the legacy, legacy for me like कबीर सेड जो तू बामन बामनी जाया आन काट बाहे ना काहे ना आया 
तुम कैसे बामन हम कैसे सूद हमरा कैसे लहू तुमरा कैसे दूध तो हाउ द कबीर वॉज चैलेंजिंग दी दिस स्टेटस को ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी हाउ द डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वॉज बींग डन टू पीपल ही वॉज क्वेश्चनिंग इट एंड हाउ द रविदास वॉज डूइंग ऐसा चाहूँ राज में जहाँ मिले सबन को अन छोट बस है सब संग बस है रेदास रह प्रसन्न तो ही वॉज चैलेंजिंग दी 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 वेरी बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ द सोसाइटी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन कास्टिज्म विच इज बेस्ड ऑन दी डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड ही लाइक ही क्लियर clearly he was challenging the the, the current uh, you know regime the current law and order he was challenging which which was unjust according to him and for you to do that uh, yeah. it was important to move away from mainstream television news channels and start your own youtube true you true so this is like i'm coming to that point so i i i take the connections with my ancestors and how baba saheb dr ambedkar started his mook naik in way back to 1920 and how periyar saheb kashiram saheb they all all started the newspapers and magazines for their own people so so i i take inspirations from these figures not from sudhi choudhary he was my ex boss not from roy sardana he's no more but he was my boss so i i i was the lead producer for deepak chaurasia as he uh, when he was in india news so <laughs> i was the producer for his show so i cannot learn something from him right i cannot learn from uh, anjana om kashyap or rubika liyakat they all were my colleagues yeah. so i take inspirations from those so this is what i learned from my figures not from these figures and we can you know uh, learn also something from these uh, mainstream media you guys call it mainstream media we call it manu stream media because 90% of the people are from particular communities only that's what i <laughs> yeah. pass survey also so said. so yes as far as learning is concerned like you can learn the technical things like how to you know uh make your presentation more good in a way yeah. not like sudhir choudhary or deepak chaurasia but in a good way the technical, uh, aspects, technical yeah. aspects you can learn from it like when i entered i learned lot of thing i had the perspective building i had the you know skills uh, i learned so many things how to do reporting how to video edit how to fact check how to you know uh, have different kind of uh, areas of journalism that you can learn from these things but not uh, the way how indian media is working so i cannot learn from them right okay now. great I think both of them raise very interesting question of that we are today as journalists competing with a lot of things on the internet. So and attention span also. So young kids may not. I mean earlier it was YouTube videos, but today maybe kids just watch reels. Mm -hmm. They don't even go to you know YouTube. So how is the Shudra uh, uh, while providing this really important alternative to you know mainstream television media also catering? I mean, is there any thinking within the newsroom? How do we reach out to younger audiences? what are the new formats we want to try hmm. uh, what are the kind of videos we should be doing so in terms of formats uh, what has your approach been okay uh, uh, you know uh, like the question why we need the shudra the news beak as you guys have published a report yesterday only that 90% of mainstream media is controlled by the upper caste community only so uh, i would take the benefit of this great stage and would like to share about that whatever happening around us the bad time or the hindu muslim binary and the wrong things happening around us just because of media i am proud that my people are not responsible for it because my people are not there in the media so the people those who are controlling it are the responsible for such things <laughs> so <laughs> my people are not part of it so uh, yes uh, nowadays digital media is growing and our generations our people from the community are also you know purchasing new mobiles getting new wifi connections and taking 4g 5g uh, devices so there is a huge uh, you know demand uh, of content especially when you are into community journalism the caste class and gender issues you are discussing and you are talking about the dalit bahujan issues so there is a huge gap that uh, content is not provided by the mainstream media unless there is a caste atrocity like hathras lakhimpur khiri or anything like that so then they only cover us when somebody beat us somebody rape us somebody murder us or, or you know some some kind of brutal atrocity happens to us and the video comes on social media so only then they take about uh, you know uh, those stories otherwise they have nothing to do with the dalit issues like caste census or the uh, reservation or, or or you know uh, Uh, the equal representation in different organization they they never in a campaign or stories what is happening around they don't do it so uh, we also provide content to our community uh, we we also discuss about the atrocity but meanwhile we discuss the issues which are important for our community and people take it very you know uh, 
they welcome it because nobody is doing it, right? Other organizations are not doing us. Some digital media are doing just because I, I believe that there is a huge market of the Dalit Bhojan SC, SC, ST OBC because now numbers of people from these communities are coming on internet. They are running social media handles and they are kind of opinion maker or influencers on Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram. So there is a huge market. So other digital media are doing it for clickbait. Otherwise, they were completely ignoring us. So now, yeah, there is a market. So you just publish a video or a story related to our community. So a lot of people will come on click on them. So there's a clickbait issue with the digital media thing. We uh, provide them the analysis video, the ground reports. We we uh, recently we have started our own, uh, you know, YouTube shorts channel also because a lot of the youngsters are coming with the Short. Insta reels and shorts and they're not watching the uh, long videos. So we are giving them 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. So that whatever the trends are coming in, in social media. And I just want to have, ask a quick question and then we can go to your reels. Uh, in your uh, experience, what works more? Is it a ground report or an analysis or an anchor driven kind of a format? Do you See, have any now, metrics? Now, just because of social media, uh, people from our community also, they are not totally dependent on the mainstream media just for the information because mm -hmm. whatever happening around is available on social media and you, you you are updated. You still, you know, keep updating yourself about what is happening around. So, uh, if, if a Supreme Court decision is coming on EWS or we call it Sudama Kota, so if that decision is coming and, and they are discussing it, so people wanted to know what does it mean to the community. So, more analysis. Uh, yeah. So, more of the analysis videos are, uh, you know, appreciated by the community. But yes, ground reports are also because uh, like Hathras case was happened, nobody was covering it for 10 days. There was not a single story in mainstream media when that incident happened. We went to the ground, we covered it, we, we talked to the victim fam family. People were looking for the content on only the Bahujan channel. So yes, everything is appreciated by community because nobody else is doing it. In fact, we at News Laundry had also done a yeah, report yeah. within the first one week. Okay. Okay, Abhinandan. That's assuming legacy is making money, but yeah. <laughs> so my question is actually to Ravi Shah, who had said he will not speak when he comes here, but <laughs> when I went out, I was told, please shut down your own outfit. If you're going to set up an event and Ravi is here, you don't want to call him, you don't want to call him. I said, I can't call him, I can't call him. I just can put a embarrassing spot in a little bit. So I put it, I had a lot of outside noise, Ravi. So what have you learned from legacy media? And you... Know, <laughs> और आपने क्या सिखाया है और आप कब या तो अपना लेगेसी आउटफिट शुरू करेंगे क्योंकि रवि शब सीरियस क्वेश्चन इस बिकम अ ब्रांड बाय इटसेल्फ या फिर आप कोई अल्टरनेटिव मीडिया करेंगे या फिर इंस्पायर करते रहेंगे लोगों को नहीं ऐसी बात नहीं थैंक यू नहीं अच्छा है मैं आप सभी की बातें सुन रहा था अच्छा जो सीखने की बात है तो जो चौहान अभी कह रहे थे कि जो टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स है उसके उसके जो इस पेशे में रहने की जो जरूरतें हैं उसके अलावा आप उस आइडियोलॉजिकल पैराडाइम को भी आप कंटेस्ट करते हैं या उसके प्रेशर को फील करते हैं जो एक तरह का एक तरह की हेचमनी बनाना चाहती है चाहे वो इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर की हेचमनी हो या फिर वो एक कास्ट सोशल रिलीजियस ऑर्डर की हेचमनी हो बहुत टाइम लग जाता है इसको समझने में न्यूज़ रूम में काम करते हुए और बहुत टाइम लग जाता है कि इस मीडिया के पीछे जो बड़े बड़े खिलाड़ी हैं उनको समझने में कि ये जो खेल हो रहा है वो दरअसल सिर्फ इन्फॉर्मेशन के डिसमिनेशन का खेल नहीं है इसके जरिए कुछ और हो रहा है जो अपने तरह की वो कंजर्वेटिज्म को रेनफोर्स करते हैं और जो भी वो चेंज को डिफाइन करते हैं उसी कंजर्वेटिज्म के भीतर ही उसी दायरे में वो उसको पुश करते हैं कि हाँ ये थोड़ा सा चेंज है दरअसल दो अंतर आप देख सकते हैं मैं अपने यहाँ मित्र से कह रहा था कि जो चौहान बोल रहे हैं और जो दूसरी तरफ से जो आवाज आ रही है उसमें बहुत अंतर है जो दूसरी तरफ से जो नॉन चौहान आवाज है वो एक तरह से वो एक वो कॉरपोरेट का एक लैंग्वेज है उसको बोलने का जिसमें हर कुछ ठीक लगता है और होता हुआ दिखता है जो चौहान की आवाज़ है जिसमें हर कुछ ठीक नहीं लगता है बहुत कुछ 
होता हुआ नहीं दिखता है जिसमें आप जो वो रिजर्वेशन का एक एक छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल दे रहे थे बड़ा इशू है लेकिन फिर भी बहुत सारे और भी इश्यूज हैं तो अब जो कुछ मैं सीखा हूँ और सीखते सीखते जिस मोड़ पे पहुँचा हूँ मैं बहुत डरता हूँ इस लगे से मीडिया से क्योंकि इसने अरबों भारतीयों की कितनी ही पीढ़ियों की मेहनत को बर्बाद किया है एक अर्जित लोकतंत्र जिसको मैं बोलता हूँ ये बहुत अर्ड है ना हम पढ़े लिखे लोग हैं हमें यून, यूनिवर्सिटी जाने का मौका मिला यहाँ आकर बात करने और सुनने का मौका मिला लेकिन जो लोग आज़ादी की लड़ाई में थे कई साल तक जेल में रहे उनकी कई पीढ़ियाँ उनके बाद स्कूल कॉलेज नहीं जा सकें स्वाभाविक सी बात थी ना कि आप अगर आप जेल में चले जाएँ अगर जी एन साई बाबा की तरह इस सरकार की कृपा होगी तो आप छः साल तो यूँ ही सड़ा दिए जाएंगे तो क्या लेगेसी मीडिया इस पे बोलता है वो तो प्रो डेमोक्रेसी भी नहीं है वो इस लोकतंत्र का हत्यारा है इसको आप जितना क्रूर तरीके में समझेंगे उतना ही आप इस देश का भला करेंगे ये बात मैं किसी प्रतिक्रिया में नहीं कह रहा हूँ ये बहुत साल लग गए इस बात को समझने में कि पब्लिक के कॉन्शंस को उसकी चेतना को खत्म करने का ये माध्यम है ये बात हर आदमी मेरे कह देने से आप नहीं समझेंगी ये हर किसी को अपने अपने अनुभव के हिसाब से समझना पड़ेगा अपने जिंदगी में कि ये लेगेसी मीडिया क्या है ये अब फुल फॉर्म में आ गया है क्योंकि इसका कंट्रोल बहुत ज्यादा है और इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि मॉर्निंग कॉन्टेक्स्ट है या फिर शुद्रा चैनल है या अम्बेडकर चैनल है क्योंकि इसके पास इतना पैसा है अभी भी ये एक इकलौता प्रोफेशन है इस दुनिया का एक सर्जन को भी आप सर्जन की फीस देते हैं इसलिए कि वो बेस्ट सर्जन होता है लेकिन आप गोदी मीडिया को ऐड क्यों देते हैं तो जर्नलिज्म नहीं करने के लिए जर्नलिज्म के नाम पे हजारों करोड़ ऐड दिए जा रहे हैं तो वैसे लोग तो आवारा होंगे ना उनको क्या फर्क पड़ता है कि कोई यूट्यूब में क्या बना रहा है या कोई स्टोरी क्या कर रहा है तो इस लेगेसी मीडिया को अब आप यूं समझिए कि उसने अपना जो एक्सपीरियंस हासिल किया मेरा एक्सपीरियंस अभिनंदन क्या था वो उतना मैटर नहीं करता लेकिन इस सत्तर पचहत्तर साल में जो इस लेगेसी मीडिया ने जो एक्सपीरियंस जनता के बीच में रहकर स्टेट और कॉरपोरेट के बीच में रहकर हासिल किया है वो ये हासिल किया है कि अगर वो चाह ले उसे ऐसा लगता है तो इस देश की डेमोक्रेसी का मर्डर वो सबके सामने सबको बिठा के कर सकता है थैंक यू बाकी का जवाब भविष्य में है Great thank you so much